Don't waste your time looking at all the different technical analysis videos on YouTube. Just keep it simple and use this one easy method for spotting a market reversal. Anyone can do this with a free account on TradingView because you only need one indicator and some lines, which I'm gonna show you how to draw right now. Once we're in TradingView, all you need is the RSI down here at the bottom. So to turn that on, indicators, RSI, that is the only thing to do. RSI, Relative Strength Index, put that in there. You can use the same parameters, 9, 14, and 2 that I'm using here to do this. Turn everything else on your chart off. If it's on, you can just click it off with the hide button right there. And then we're going to get into just a candlestick chart or a line chart with the RSI at the bottom. Next, we want to start looking for divergences between the RSI, which is a momentum indicator in the market of where the market in the stock is going, and the stock price. How we do this is by drawing trend lines inside trading, which anybody can do. And we can see here that we've got these two twin peaks, but it's a line we're going to draw right here. That's all you need to do is go boom from peak to peak right here. And we're looking for this divergence where it's a downward sloping line, but yet up above We've got a line from this candlestick up here going at the top level to this candlestick up here. It's sloping upwards, going up up here, going down in the RSI. The momentum is going down, but the stock price is going up. Something could be out of whack there. You know what I'm saying? There is some kind of divergence in the force right there, my friends. The RSI, if it's sloping downward, but the stock is moving higher, that should be a red flag in your mind saying, why is this doing this? And you can see ultimately after that, it went on an extended kind of downward trajectory move over the next couple months. That is an example on the daily chart, but that's all you need to do. I'll show you one on a five minute chart here as well, looking at AMD. And you can see here down at the bottom, we've got this nice twin peak again, moving downward across the first couple hours market being open. But what is the top level doing? It's slowly meandering its way up and down. There was a dip, but it went up and peaked up like that. So what are we looking at here? We're looking at a upward movement on top. We're looking at a downward movement down below, like significantly downward movement. There's a divergence yet again. And eventually this momentum takes over and the sell-off resumes. And you can see how this kind of faded out the rest of the day. So by this RSI definition, it would have been a good way to trade it negatively today based on the divergence you see here. But it can also be shown on the upside. If we go over to our Etsy chart, look at this. Flipping it back over to the daily candlesticks, we can see here Etsy's kind of been a little bit of a downward spiral lately. But then we also have this nice divergence down here in a good way. We've got lower lows being made with these candlesticks right here going downwards, right? Sloping downwards. But the momentum down here in the RSI is sloping upwards, which is the saying is that there is good momentum behind this stock. It just hasn't been reflected in the price yet. And as you can see, over the past couple of weeks here, Etsy has broken out of this kind of downward stock pattern up to newer highs. And the RSI has reflected that. It kind of predicted it before it happened because of the divergence in the force, again, between the RSI and the stock price. Use this for daily charts, monthly charts, five-minute charts, whatever you want to do. But just remember the key here. You want to see these patterns emerge, but don't go all in until the pattern is established and confirmed. You still need to have your technical analysis levels, different levels that you want to break above resistance for here being a good one for Etsy. You can see that it's going to trend upwards. Hopefully you set this kind of upper resistance level. Once it breaks through that, like it did right here, there's a good signal for a breakout. Then you make your trade. You kind of have your trade confirmed. Always use a stop loss as well in case it does pull back on the downside. But that's how you use the RSI to predict trends, bearish, bullish, and move through the market that way with established demand zones through your RSI. Taking this one step further, now I'm interested to know what kind of trading strategy would you have used for a setup just like this? Are you going to be buying calls? Are you going to be selling puts? Are you going to be buying shares straight up? Let me know, leave a comment. And if you want to know more about how to sell options, buy stock options, everything about how calls and puts works, I invite you to check out my course at www.tradingoptionsdaily.com slash options dash academy. I'll put that in the description of this video for you to check out and I will catch you on the next one.